hello and welcome to video 2 in this um, video blog series how to get started with video marketing my name is Jose and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your YouTube channel I'm sure if you set up uh, if you've shot your first video you must be very excited to upload it to your channel but before you do that you need to do a few things which are quite important and in this video I'm going to uh, go through with them so you know exactly what to do so let's get started now if my screenshots in this video look completely different to the ones in your YouTube interface it's because you are probably um, using the new uh, studio version uh, currently YouTube is uh, transforming from the creator studio classic version to the studio version they're both the same the new interface looks a, a lot different and uh, it's a lot more uh, cleaner and sleeker than the old one so don't get too stressed about it if you can't find uh, the things which i'm showing you they are here but they'll probably be in a different uh, uh, tab probably under the settings where most of the uh, features have gone in so let's get started um, and I'll be showcasing the studio classic version in this video so the first thing you need to do before you do anything is to set up your channel header and this is what I mean by the channel header which shows at the top of your channel page um, you've got your logo in there you've got your uh, you can have your images branding text whatever you want plus you can also link to other uh, social media channels like facebook twitter linkedin pinterest and also a link to your website but you can't just set up a channel header design uh, the way it is right now you need to use a very specific template for which the link uh, it's under this video and you must download that uh, channel header template download that and use this template because what you want to do is this is where you want your uh, text and logos and your branding to go in and this is what we call the safe area uh, the reason being is you've got four of four different uh, devices TV desktop which includes computers and laptop tablet and mobile and obviously each one of them has got different resolutions and everything so with this template um, your channel uh, header will look perfect and 100% on every device if you don't know how to use this then uh, give this template to your uh, graphic designer he or she will be able to use it but you'll need something like uh, Photoshop to edit this or you can use something like Canva, which we use quite a lot in our business. It's free to use as well as the paid version is there. But Canva will be able, you'll be able to upload your template in here and create your uh, design. The other extremely important thing you must do is to create your thumbnail designs. Um, again, uh, if you have got a graphic designer, ask them to create a template for you so you can use it over and over again. And as you can see that uh, from these uh, thumbnails, uh, the branding is consistent. You can use a, photo, a headshot or, uh, or a photo of yourself. And I would highly recommend you do that because these custom thumbnails show up on YouTube before your video is clicked. And a custom thumbnail can pretty much uh, make or break the click-through rate on a video view because an unattractive custom thumbnail or a thumbnail won't get the clicks but an attractive one will get the click so spend a bit of time designing this um, invest in a, a good design if if need be and also invest in a professionally taken headshot so get your photographer to supply you a file as a png file with transparent background so what that will allow you to do is to be able to Put your headshot on any uh, background color so as you can see uh, you don't get the ugly white box around it because I've got my brand color over here but then obviously I've got white at the top or over here I've got the brand color uh, throughout on the 
um, in the background. So with a PNG file with a transparent background will allow you to place your uh, headshot on any colored background and it's going to look a lot better. When you set up your channel, your channel URL may look something like this. Um, it's not very attractive. It's impossible to remember. So what you need to do is to change it, but you can only change it once you have got more than 100 subscribers. Your channel is at least 30 days old. Uh, you've uploaded a photo as channel icon and have uploaded your channel art as well. So once you've done these three, all you need to do is to wait for your 100 subscribers and then you'll be able to change it to whatever you want. Um, I would recommend that you put your business name um, like we've done over here for S, well, SEM Rush have done theirs, and we've done uh, over here SF Digital was taken up by somebody else, so we put in uh, UK in the front, so you can make a version um, which are whatever suits you to create that custom URL for your YouTube channel. The next thing we move on to is to create playlists. So if you are putting up uh, videos on different topics or subjects within your niche then i would recommend uh, create pay playlists so it makes it easier for your audience to find other videos uh, for on that same topic or subject uh, so just like you create playlist in your itunes or spotify uh, apps um, create your uh, playlist in here so your channel is uh, super organized now what you need to do is a few things to create your uh, set up your channel and that's under the channel tab and then there are five things underneath there so we start off with the status and the features um, the, these two are extremely important pay a lot of attention to it because if you infringe on copyright uh, three strikes and you will get shut down you if you are using um, music especially make sure that it's not copyrighted and it is royalty free and you are abiding by the youtube uh, community guidelines then there are lots of various options over here most of them are not applicable uh, for you right now because your channel is new but the one which you need to uh, change uh, later on is the custom url and the custom thumbnails now if you are not uh, seeing how to upload your if you can't enable this is because your channel has not been verified so verify your channel first and then upload uh, you'll be able to upload your uh, custom thumbnails so monetization you don't need to worry too much about it um, and either the live streaming and embedding of live streams so most important ones is to verify your uh, channel and make sure that you're not infringing on copyrights and abiding by the community guidelines. Then the next tab is obviously the next one is monetization. Uh, for that, you need a minimum of 1000 subscribers and over 4000 hours of uh, view time. So you won't need to worry too much about it. The next one is the upload uh, defaults. And that is a really cool feature in here, which not many people use it because what you want to do is set up a default so every time you upload a video certain things upload at the same time so what i tend to do is when i'm uploading i keep my privacy setting to unlisted so once it's uploaded i can check and double check everything is done and set up properly and then i can go public with the privacy settings uh, then you can have set up all your uh, category to people and blogs or whatever category uh, your channel is all about. Title is obviously the title of that video which I will have blank. But then under in the description, I have got lots of free tools and links to my courses, to my website, to my uh, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn channel. So I don't want to be up copying and pasting every time I upload a video. So if you copy and paste it over here once every time you upload a new video this will automatically uh, be put up on every video so it saves a lot of time and the same with the tags you put in the tags 
Um, so in, in my case, I've just put in my uh, company name and my personal name. And then obviously if videos are on different topics and subjects, then I put the tags individually on each video. Then you can decide whether you want to allow the comments uh, automatically or you want to approve them before uh, they go live. Monetization, ad formats, you don't need to worry uh, too much about it. In fact, um, not my, none of these things uh, will be applicable to you if you are uh, new to uh, YouTube. So the most important thing is obviously the privacy settings and the description and the tags um, on this uh, section of YouTube or the upload defaults. Then the next one is branding. You click on that add a watermark button. This little pop-up window will come up. So there are certain ways you can upload your watermark. So the watermark goes on the bottom right hand corner of uh, YouTube and it will uh, take someone to the to your channel page when uh, clicked but you can't just upload it with the background as white or colored so if you've saved your uh, logo as a jpeg um, you won't be able to upload it so it needs to be transparent uh, with a transparent background so the logo can either be colored or as a white out or reversed out uh, logo but must be white or oh, uh, must be transparent and you can only get that with a png file again if you can't if you don't know how to create a png file get your graphic designer to create one for you and it has to be in a um, square format once you upload that you will see that your logo looks like that over there obviously it's too big and it's just for demonstration uh, purposes and you can then put in a, a customized time um, so if you want to bring that up on a, at a certain time you can otherwise I would start right from the start and on the actual video uh, your logo will look something like that so as you can see I've got my logo now our logo is rectangular it's quite long so if I were to put the whole SF digital studios in there it will become very small and unrecognizable so I will just put in the SF so it looks it nice and big and obviously it's our uh, brand and the logo so you can do the same thing for you. The next one is the uh, advanced tab which is the last one and this is where uh, quite a few things you need to do. So the first thing is you set up your channel keywords so put in a few so that YouTube knows what your channel is all about. If you are using Google Ads, then link it to your YouTube channel um, over here because we can then use remarketing in a very creative way. So anyone who has viewed your video, you can remarket to them through Google Ads. Then you can associate your website. So you can have a clickable link to your landing page or to your website from your YouTube videos and you need to do that uh, over here. Um, show channel subscribers is entirely up to you. A lot of people don't want to show a, a low count when it's fairly new and you don't have many subscribers. I don't get too much stressed about it. When I had 30 subscribers, I showed my uh, subscriber count and now we've got over almost 5,600. So it's entirely your call. The last bit is uh, set up your analytics so you're linking your analytics to your youtube channel as well so the data uh, flows and you can get some again get very creative with how you remarket to your uh, audience then you will also see a, a tab for the community and this is where you need to get engaged with your community because when you upload videos and you start to get replies to your uh, uh, comments to your on your videos you must reply back to them and thank them for the feedback a lot of people will also ask you oh can you upload a video on certain topics or subjects and you start to get more ideas uh, youtube loves this engagement and interaction because they know that it's a, it's a great signal that your content is being loved and liked by others. Your 
videos are keeping more people on YouTube. So they are going to reward you by giving you higher rankings in search results. And YouTube, by the way, is the second largest search engine in the world. So you can leverage a lot of traffic from here. And as you start to reply to comments like you can see I've done over here, when others see that you reply, they will start to uh, add more questions and feedback or comments over here. And it is kind of like a snowball effect and you will get momentum on your uh, YouTube channel. So now it's my time to thank you and I appreciate your time with me. Uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have got any comments, feedbacks or anything you want to add to this, please do so uh, in the comment box um, below and I'll do my best to reply each and every one for, of them. So that's it for now and I'll see you next week in the next video.